Prajapati IAST, Prajapati Rajan or Rajanya, Lord of Creation and Protector, is a Vedic deity of Hinduism. The term also connotes many different gods, depending on the Hindu text, ranging from being the creator god to being same as one of the following, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Agni, Indra, Vishvakarma, Bharata, Kapila and many others. According to George Williams, the inconsistent, varying and evolving Prajapati concept in Hindu mythology reflects the diverse Hindu cosmology. In classical and medieval era literature, Prajapati is equated to the metaphysical concept called Brahm as Prajapati Brahm or alternatively Brahm is described as one who existed before Prajapati. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> Prajapati Sanskrit, Prajapati is a compound of praja, creation, procreative powers, and pati, lord, master. The term means lord of creatures or lord of all born beings. In the later Vedic texts, Prajapati is a distinct Vedic deity, but whose significance diminishes. Later, the term is synonymous with other gods, particularly Brahma or Vishnu or Shiva. Still later, the term evolves to mean any divine, semi-divine or human sages who create something new. Origins The origins of Prajapati are unclear. He appears late in the Vedic layer of texts, and the hymns that mention him provide different cosmological theories in different chapters. He is missing from the Samhita layer of Vedic literature, conceived in the Brahmana layer, states Jan Gonda. Prajapati is younger than Savitar, and the word was originally an epithet for the sun. His profile gradually rises in the Vedas, peaking within the Brahmanas. Scholars such as Renu, Keith and Bhattacharji posit Prajapati originated as an abstract or semi-abstract deity in the later Vedic milieu as speculations evolved from the archaic to more learned speculations. Indo-European A possible connection between Prajapati and related figures in Indian tradition and the Protagonos ancient Greek, Protagonos literally, firstborn, of the Greek Orphic tradition has been proposed Protagonos is the Orphic equivalent of Vedic Prajapati in several ways, he is the first god born from a cosmic egg, he is the creator of the universe, and in the figure of Dionysus, a direct descendant of Protagonos worshippers participate in his death and rebirth. According to Robert Graves, the name of Praya N. Paddy, progeny potentate is etymologically equivalent to that of the oracular god at Colophon, according to Macrobios, namely, Protagonos. The cosmic egg concept linked to Prajapati and Protagonos is common in many parts of the world, states David Leeming, which appears in later Orphic cult in Greece. Texts Prajapati is described in many ways and inconsistently in Hindu texts, both in the Vedas and in the post-Vedic texts. These range from being the creator god to being same as one of the following, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Agni, Indra, Vishvakarma, Bharata, Kapila and many others. Vedas. His role varies within the Vedic texts such as being one who created heaven and earth, all of water and beings, the chief, the father of gods, the creator of devas and asuras, the cosmic egg and the purusha spirit. His role peaked in the Brahmana's layer of Vedic text, then declined to being a group of helpers in the creation process. In some Brahmana texts, his role remains ambiguous since he co-creates with the powers with goddess Vak sound. .In the Rigveda, Prajapati appears as an epithet for Savitar, Soma, Agni and Indra, who are all praised as equal, same and lord of creatures. Elsewhere, in hymn 10.121 of the Rigveda, is described Haranyagarbha golden embryo that was born from the waters containing everything, which produced Prajapati. It then created mana mind, kama desire, and tapas heat. However, this Prajapati is a metaphor, one of many Hindu cosmology theories, and there is no supreme deity in the Rigveda. 
One of the striking features about the Hindu Prajapati myths, states Jan Gonda, is the idea that work of creation is a gradual process, completed in stages of trial and improvement. In the Shatapatha Brahmana, embedded inside the Yajurveda, Prajapati emanated from Purusha cosmic spirit, and Prajapati co creates the world with goddess of language. It also includes the golden cosmic egg mythology, wherein Prajapati is stated to be born from a golden egg in primeval sea after the egg was incubated for a year. His sounds became the sky, the earth and the seasons. When he inhaled, he created the devas gods, fire and light. When he exhaled, he created the asuras demons and darkness. Then, together with goddess of language, he created all beings and time. In Chapter 10 of the Shatapatha Brahmana, as well as Chapter 13 of Pankavimsa Brahmana, is presented another theory wherein he Prajapati is a mother, becomes self-pregnant with all living creatures self-generated, evil MRTYU seizes these beings within his womb, but because these beings are part of the eternal Prajapati, they desire to live long like him. The Aitareya Brahmana offers a different myth, wherein Prajapati having created the gods, metamorphosed into a stag and approached his daughter Don who was in the form of a doe, to produce other earth earthly beings. The gods were horrified by the incest, and joined forces to produce angry destructive Rudra to punish Prajapati for doing what is not done. Prajapati was killed by Rudra. The Kasataki Brahmana offers a yet another myth, wherein Prajapati created from his own self fire, sun, moon, wind and feminine dawn. The first four saw dawn and released their seeds, which became existence bhava. .In section 2.266 of Jaimaniya Brahmana, Prajapati is presented as a spiritual teacher. His student Varuna lives with him for 100 years, studying the art and duties of being the father-like king of gods. <laughs> Upanishads Prajapati appears in early Upanishads, among the most influential texts in Hinduism. He is described in the Upanishads in diverse ways. For example, in different Upanishads, he is presented as the personification of creative power after Brahman, the same as the wandering eternal soul, as symbolism for unmanifest obscure firstborn, as manifest procreative sexual powers, the knower particularly of Atman soul, self, a spiritual teacher that is within each person. The Chandogya Upanishad, as an illustration, presents him as follows The self Atman that is free from evils Free from old age and death Free from sorrow, free from hunger and thirst The self whose desires and intentions are real That is the self that you should try to discover That is the self that you should seek to perceive When someone discovers that self and perceives it he obtains all the worlds, and all his desires are fulfilled. So said Prajapati. <inaudible> Post-Vedic texts In the Mahabharata, Brahma is declared to be a Prajapati who creates many males and females, and imbues them with desire and anger, the former to drive them into reproducing themselves and the latter to prevent them from being like gods. Other chapters of the epics and Puranas declare Shiva or Vishnu to be Prajapati. The Bhagavad Gita uses the epithet Prajapati to describe Krishna, along with many other epithets. The Gryasutras include Prajapati as among the deities invoked during wedding ceremonies and prayed to for blessings of prosperous progeny, and harmony between husband and wife. Prajapati is identified with the personifications of time, fire, the sun, etc. He is also identified with various mythical progenitors, especially Manu Smrti 1.34, the ten lords of created beings first created by Brahma, the Prajapatis Marichi, Atri, Angiris, Palastya, Palaha, Kratu, Vasishtha, Prashadas or Daksha, Brigu, Narada. In the Puranas, there are groups of Prajapati called Prajapataya who were rishis sages or grandfathers from whom all of humanity resulted, followed by Prajapati's list that widely varies in number and name between different texts. According to George Williams, the inconsistent, varying and evolving Prajapati concept in Hindu mythology reflects the diverse Hindu cosmology, the Mahabharata and the genre of Puranas call various gods and sages as Prajapati. Some illustrations, states Roshan Dalal, include Agni, Bharata, Shashabindu, Shukra, Havardhaman, Indra, Kapila, K. Shupa, Prithu Vainya, Soma, Svishtakrit, Tvashtr, Vishvakarma and Varana.
Topic: <laughs> Prajapatis. In the medieval era texts of Hinduism, Prajapati refers to legendary agents of creation, working as gods or sages, who appear in every cycle of creation maintenance destruction Their numbers vary between 7, 10, 16 or 21. A list of 21 includes Rudra, Manu, Daksha, Brigu, Dharma, Tapa, Yama, Marichi, Angiris, Atri, Palastya, Palaha, Kratu, Vasishtha, Parameshti, Surya, Chandra, Kardama, Krata and Vikrita. A list of 16 found in the Ramayana includes Angiris, Arishtanami, Atri, Daksha, Kardama, Kashyapa, Kratu, Marichi, Prashadas, Palaha, Palastya, Samshraya, Shesha, Stanu, Vikrita, Vavasvan. A list of 10 includes Marichi, Angiris, Atri, Palastya, Palaha, Kratu, Vasishtha, Daksha or Prashadas, Brigu and Narada, their creative role varies. Palaha, for example, is the mythical mind-born son of Brahma and a great rishi. As one of the Prajapatis, he helps create living wildlife such as lions, tigers, bears, wolves, as well mythical beasts such as Kimparushas and Shalabhas. <laughs> Balinese Hinduism Hindu temples in Bali Indonesia called Pura Prajapati, also called Pura Marajapati, are common. They are most associated with funeral rituals and the Engaban cremation ceremony for the dead. See also Nasadiya Sukta Haranyagarbha Sukta Hinduism and monotheism List of Hindu deities Creation myth Saptarishi